No. no. I just broke up with my girlfriend of five years, so that's great. Yeah. Y'all calm down. It wasn't that bad of a breakup. It was kind of, it was amicable. It was a nice split. You can't even tell by looking at me. <laughs> Don't cry up here, Logan. Real tears aren't funny. Now, I wouldn't cry because she left me. I just cry because I'm officially now a prop comic. It's like people been asking me all day, you got a red hat and a red shirt. Why do you have a blue watch? It's because I used to have a red one. Until she got a hold of it. It's crazy. I used to run from love, and now I just, just patronize it until it moves back in with its fat-ass mother. Oh, it was crazy. It was good, though. I mean, we used to argue over silly stuff. I mean, it's just always something silly. But one time she told me, like, because I told her I loved her, and she said she could tell I was drunk. Like, if I just out and tell her I love her. So I just stopped telling her altogether. Not to prove that I was sober. It's just I didn't like lying to her face like that. Wow. Unless I was drunk. <laughs> just crazy how you th say th some things out of... Uh, Habit, just like, you know, like, thank you, or I love you too, or not guilty. <laughs> well, that's crazy. But, uh, we had trust issues, you know, stuff like that, you know, like, she didn't believe me when I said I wouldn't mess with anybody else, and I didn't believe that she had proof. <laughs> it's all right, though. She was messing around, too, and what's messed up is he had my same name. So it got kind of weird, because in bed I had to also make her haul out my social security number. <laughs> yeah. That's me. That's me. <laughs> what's messed up, she broke my Xbox, and I'm like a big gamer. Any other gamers out here? Maybe a few? That's what's up. Um, and uh, Xbox is kind of like a racist kind of place. I've never been called the N-word more by a Puerto Rican middle schooler. Yeah, it's crazy. I remember when I was playing one time, a guy, they have your, your names above your head, and a guy dropped down and said, like five Africans. <laughs> what kind of racist stuff is that? And he's running towards me. He stabbed me. And then I got his genius. When it said, you have just been stabbed by like five Africans. I don't really say the N-word too much unless I'm listening to a new rap song or an old country one. <laughs> they just don't write them like that anymore, do they? Uh. But I do hang around a lot of black dudes, and uh, if you hang around some, you'll get a black dude every now and again that says, hey, you can say it around me. We're cool. I know you're cool. You don't mean it like that. You can say the N-word around me. Don't, don't fall for that. Because <laughs> they do mind you saying that. They just want to see you get jumped. They just can't do it because they're on parole. <laughs> but a little bit myself, I am white and Native American, so I literally am my own worst enemy. I'm three quarters white and a quarter Native American, Cherokee. I used to be three quarters uh, Native American, believe it or not, but that white quarter had a bunch of shiny beads and fire water. <laughs> Messed up. I seen an Indian stripper once. I knew she was Indian because she came out dressed like a blackjack dealer. <laughs> she danced so good, we both made it rain. <laughs> For real. Come on, you gotta love a good Indian joke. There's just not that many real ones around anymore. <laughs> Authentic ones. But I'm a city boy. I'm, I don't know too much about the country. And uh, a country dude just uh, recently told me that moss only grows on the north side of a tree. That's like how they find their way if they're lost or whatever. I just figured being from Tulsa, it's only natural not to clean things on the north side. <laughs> and there's mine. My name's Logan Rogers. You remember the name.